This is going to be an introduction into 10 diff per hour, ultimatum AFK 5 and shit. Now, you might be like going, <laughs> what? Okay, what the fuck are you talking about? How are you doing 10 diff an hour? So, this is my dump tab. I've emptied it out. That's because I need two dump tabs for this. This is my dump tab. This is all from Ultimatum and it's all in pure liquid. Everything is everything is liquid. So we've got the vines here, etc etc. Now I'll show you the price breakdown right here. Yes, should show. So on both the exile, I 91 divines in pure currency here. Now this doesn't include everything because things like uniques Links of Chaos, as you can see, it did include Glimpse of Chaos and etc. Also, does include the Inscribe Automatums, as you can see here. Um, these have been better around a div each for four academics, one div, and so on. I've also uh, separated all the other currency ones I don't want to do because these are, for me, not worth it anymore. My time is no longer worth it. I can buy to one them, but I, I'll try to them. Um, I still have some of these good ones left. Now, the strategy revolves entirely around this ultimatum right here. Inscribed ultimatum requires sacrifice, 8 divine orbs, reward, ups. So you give it 8, and you get 16 back. Now, let me get the picture up. Uh oh, picture, picture, picture of what I'm talking about. Oh no, do the folder. That's a folder. Right here. Yep. So this picture is what I'm talking about. You 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 do this ultimatum here. Uh, you give it and you get back sixteen. So you get this is considered eight divines for this inscribed ultimatum. Now let me hide this. Um, that's the profit. Now what's the, what is the so the remedy? What is the investment? Investment is one, two of these ultimate scarab surprisings, and one of inscription. So what we are trying to do is we are progressing our rounds to plus two. Plus two, and on my atlas, plus one. So it's now plus five rounds. So you start on round six for rewards, and then we're converting the catalyst, uh, catalyst, all into inscribed automatums. So now all the shitty catalysts like um, noxious, uh, you, you know, you know the you know bad ones, right? Meta. Metamorphosis, RFP, turbulent, unstable, etc. The bad ones get converted, or the good ones too, into these inscribed ultimates. And that's what we're hunting for. Now, as for the build, I have made a very specific build for this. Now, I began, I should just start this and talk. So, I'll show you what I mean, uh, strategy wise. So make sure we have two, limit two, one of these, and a vault map. So what I do is I I bought the maps in bulk for 5 CH T16s. Scout them more, chisel them more, out them more, that's it, front. So literally, scout and out. Now, what you do need to know is that as far as I know, map quantity, oops. Am I missing my gems? I am missing my gems. Classic. Hmm. What you need to know is that uh, map quantity affects catalyst quantity size. So I'm not certain how it works, but I think having a large stack of catalysts converts to a better reward in your inscribed automaton. So I get so many divines and uh, exalts. So I run to automaton. And it says survive, and that for me is perfect. 
Press start. I got AFK. I got AFK. So let me talk about my build. My build, my build revolves around Castman Stuns. Uh, what is this? Next. Um, using Sky Force. So stun is based on mana instead of life. Now I take Light Magic over here. And this costs all my life uh, turns all my mana to zero. So now I'm always stunned. And I'm using Blood Notch. Um, what's it called again? Ego. First of all, it's not ultimatum, it's just foible. That's not good, so I'll keep going. Um, we also use uh, Castle Stun, I was talking about uh, Immutable, right? Immutable, Castle Stunned, and well, all that shit. Oh, here's another one. The journey, that's bad. And so now this build is almost immortal. Almost immortal. And I'm showing you this without the Pines Density. So I have been using it, but you don't need it. I was not using this for a very long time. The way I sustain is by having light Ganon hit, my castle stun, play four, and five storm. So what this does is that with a combined okay, 20 fusings, very nice. We can combine this with a Doctor's Eye, Light Ganon Hit Vitality. I have so much instant leech that I can heal through anything. So what we need to do is to raise my max hit as high as I can. Here's another one. Board prints. Ah, uh, I think that's shit. So, what? And so now I'm getting so much regen. So I have zero regen, right? Can't regen. But I have so much instant recovery. And I'm just healing through everything. Um, I, I'll talk about my league start in a bit. Oh, 2120 advanced traps. What's this worth? A divine. Uh, not bad, not bad. One divine. Let's get, let's keep going. Um, what else should I talk about? Okay, so I'm using DD, but I'm using two consuming darks to convert fire to poison to do AoE poison. So I'm poisoning everything around me. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Rejuve Totem. Ah, oh, that's trash. Unfortunate. And then, that's it. I sit here, AFK. I literally look at, look at my skill bar. There's nothing in my skill bar. Hands free. And I'm just... It's just, it's just completing the ultimate for me. It's just completing the ultimate for me. Oh! So, we'll be careful at the end. Um, without Defiance, you have so much Petrified legit, uh, deeper damage. You can uh, lose all your life after it's ended. So as you can see, you get all these rewards, and you, you will notice that this one here is dupli duplicated, right? There's two of them. That's because this node here uh, dupes them with a percent chance. So when you see eight divines, it's actually ten divines. Unfortunately, I didn't dupe any of my eight divine, um, eight divines, but uh, yeah. So pick them up. And that's my reward for my uh, ultimate. Now, as I said earlier, the investment for this is 1C per Scarab and 5C per map. So that's 8C per map. And my revenue per map was one divine. So more, more than one divine. So uh, going back to my stash tab, I ripped five of these maps because I died by accident. Uh, two of them, I quit early because I realized that I was wasting my time. There's one, so there's one of them called Survive the um, Defeat the Ways of Enemies. And there's a mob in it, it's a little robot that runs around and you can't fucking kill him. So if I see that guy, I just I just leave the ultimatum or finish it up immediately. It is so, so annoying. So this is my current build. Now, what was it when I started off with? So, I leak started as a fire trap trickster. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube with a, with a good video on it. I, I forgot who it was. I just found the POV and copied that. At level 82, I swapped to my build. I still have my gear. So, I still have my gear from earlier. What's my shoe? Oh, come on, my shoe. <clears throat> yeah, so, before, watch his eye, you should use a Sibyl's Claw. Sibyl's Paw has the same modifier, life gain per enemy hit with spells, same as much as I. And I was doing white maps with no mods, doing ultimatums for my first like 50, 50c, 100c, 
and I slowly upgraded, 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 and then do I have my second set? Uh, this is my rings I've been upgraded through, etc, 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 right? Just upgrading over time. And then the, the strategy after white maps was T13 maps. The T13, if I have some of that, you hear. I just out a T13 with a regex and I ran through them. So these are some of my T13 maps I was doing. So area level 80, T13. So why T13? It's because at this point in time, I was too weak to do Power Master. Power Master was too hard for me, but the T13s. If easier easier map mods, the, uh, the area is easier, and less life, so on and so on. So this was a uh, some of the remnants of that tab uh, from T13s, right? And afterwards I got to upgrade, etc. Now I'm doing T16s. And as you can see, I was not using Defiance. I was not using Defiance. I was using Impresence, which is not really good. It's just, it's it's damage over time, life preservation, that's it. It's really not that good. Uh, but I would use this instead. Now something to consider is that uh, Cloak of Fame is very, very good, but so is Incandescent Heart. So one of the things I think I died to is you can get shotguns with fire damage. Um, the Raging Fire 4 has, I think, a lot of fire pen, and it will shotgun you sometimes and insta-kill you. So for me to deal with it, I've been running Incandescent Heart instead. So, this means 25% of elemental taken as chaos. And the reason this is good is that combined with Divine Flesh over here, I have 75% taken as chaos. So Fire Pen is mostly negated. That helps a lot. Now, uh, moving on to uh, Saboteur. Why I chose Saboteur is all because of Trig Bumps. Now, there's two main reasons. One, I am poisoned, so the less damage taken, is not that bad because I want to apply as many poisons as I can. Now, trigger bots will trigger cast one stun for double chain DD. So you get two chain DDs per cast per trigger. And now the second part is unearthed. So if I sock unsocket cast one stun, I'll show you unearthed. Unearthed will throw projectiles out from your body. You are the one rocking unearthed. So the issue that I found from last leg on my Void Farmer is that when you're in close proximity, Unearth always throws corpses too far away to DD. It will DD, but it'll hit nothing. So to get around this, if you notice these trigger bots, they are not on me. What I can do is use cast and stunned, and when I get stunned now, these bots will throw the corpses on the enemy or on me. Which means I can get full value from Castle and Stunned Unearthed. So, of course, I've Castle Stunned Unearthed and Castle and Stunned Desecrate. And this has a chain reaction going on to poison the shit out of enemies. So, everything's poisoned. I have enemies who have been poisoned, can't do critical strikes, and some generic poison stuff. So, poison chance on curse, etc. Get my. Actually, I don't need it anymore. I have. I bought So, that's a wasted point. Yep, that's a wasted point. <laughs> I didn't realize. Um, I would say I started to do this build at 85, and I converted my tree all the way down here, get the life, uh, and blood magic. This is because of the combo. Now, iron reflexes is also, I'm not sure if it's important, but it might be. So, iron reflexes is picked up because, uh, as a saboteur, I do blind enemies, right? Now, blinding enemies, has less accuracy, but I don't know if it's enough to make them miss on me. So I want them to always hit me. So now I have literally zero evasion, so I know all attacks will always hit me. Um, anything else I should go over? I think that's about it. Um, I have a single target cremation here. I'll let you copy paste from John Grand, like. It's, 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 that's, that's their combo. Very good. Very, very good. Um, regen, regen, zero regen, of course, or oh, recoup. Recoup. Recoup, I have gained it from these three nodes here, plus the anoint on Vaporism. So that's just enough recoup to really sustain myself. 
Um, if you don't take these three notes, you will come across the Ben issue. The Ben issue is that uh, when you have so much damage from Petrified, you end up instantly dying sometimes. And that, uh, oh, Blood Notch of Limb, correct, correct. So, Blood Notch here is 6% of standing hits from Protoss life. This makes you combine with Petrified Blood immortal. You are immortal to physical and spell hits. As long as you can recoup the prevention of the life. So, as you can see, 40% of the life loss below half life is prevented, and then the rest is degened over time. Now, recoup and this deference will cancel each other out, and then blood launch plus 60% life means you are hit immune. You do not take damage. It, it's, um, I have confirmed it myself from last week testing. With a omen of death store, it will consume when you hit low life. But I was taking a zero flame blast to the face and it never broke. Which means you are never, ever, ever not at full life with blood launch. Uh, I'm sure most of you know that. Um, I've got suppression for flasks here, prevention damage here. Basically, I, I would like to show you my atlas. Um, this is my atlas. I have 64 points. Um, <laughs> I have one void stone, 64 points, and all I have is ultimate here. Oh, I should go through the atlas. True, 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 atlas, atlas. So, early on, I did not take these points here because um, I wasn't doing ultimate and boss. So, T13s, cut this out. Um, earlier on in the maps, if you're too squishy, if you think you're too squishy, I came across here and took Wellspring Creation. So, I'm pretty sure it works. Um, you just take less damage, but everything's tankier. Now, moving across to the important parts. So, earlier on in my T13 maps, I would have mine set up like this. Yeah, like this. So, I would want... So, Survive the Salt, best. By far the best. Next best, for early on, is Conquer the Stones. Why? Because these two don't care about the damage you do. All they care is about you surviving. So, you're just clicking your left mouse button, moving from circle to circle, or you AFK in the middle. Now, since I have more damage now, because I have more gear, I can take this out. Oops, that. Right. Uh, undo this one and put it here. And put it here as well. Why? Because now I have enough damage that I would rather kill the enemies first and not all the stones. Now I'm fully AFK. I just stand in the middle and I press next, 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 next. Boom, 10 divines. Boom, 1 divine. Right? That's all you do. Um, ultimate chance. Oh, yes. So. Change Atlas this league so that Ultimatum is guaranteed on the tree. If you take these nodes, right, with Ultimate Enchants, you have so much Ultimate Enchants encounter that you literally have your maps contain an Ultimate Encounter. So your maps will always have Ultimatum. And you do not need Scarabs for this. So this that this this Scarab, where is it? This this Scarab right here is useless. It is completely useless because if you're going to do ultimatum, you're taking these nodes anyway, and you already have ultimate. So that's what I did for white maps. White maps, I did ultimatum using just my Atlas passive points and nothing else. I added scarabs for T13, and then I added more stuff for T16. Um, and I think that's about it. Yeah. So the two scarabs I'm going to double reiterate are. Scarab of Bribing for two additional rounds and Scarab of Inscription for uh, Ultimatums instead of Catalysts. And uh, I would say I made in a hundred maps, I failed five of them. And I made about, I, 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 let's say a hundred div. 91 draw plus a lot of this unsold stuff. Oh, I, one more thing. I have a trade bot. I say trade bot. They're glitching myself, right? I trade myself to my other account so that I can trade over items that uh, 
that I've sold, I'm trying to sell. The, the reason why you need a second account is because in the ultimatum, you cannot leave the, air, the area during the ultimatum. You have to be in the ultimatum the entire time. And so you trade, I trade all my good stuff to my alt to sell on a website, right? And now these will be sold, I'll be trading while I'm AFK in ultimatum. And this is an example of really good stuff I've got. You get a lot of random crap and stuff that you sell with the binds. Uh, let me get a screenshot of my stash here. Screenshots. Yeah. And then hopefully each of those here. Yeah, that's my other stash. I've been selling stuff from um, of my unit. So hopefully that's it. And uh lots of money for you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, one more thing. I forgot at the very end. Actually, I need to talk about what you should be clicking. So, you should be clicking all the good stuff, such as the damage stuff, so the fireballs, the lightning, the cold, the physical, blah blah blah. Pick, pick all of that. What you don't want to pick is number one, B gen. B gen will fuck you over, like everyone else. It's so bad. Number two, ruin. Ruin makes it so you cannot AFK. Now, the reason why you can pick Ruin, but I do not, is because, well, I'm really lazy and I don't want to move. Ruin, if, it's, if the selections are so bad that Ruin's your only choice, then you can click Ruin. We're going to make sure you don't get hit by the ghost. And that's it. Yep. Oh yeah, and Small Arena. Small Arena is really good. Small Arena makes it so that DD hits every single monster, every single proc. They're all stuck together in the Small Arena. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, Simulacrum is not the same as Ultimatum. Simulacrum, you have to walk around and spawn the mobs out of the floor. But the Ultimatum, it does it for you. Like, that's why it's so much more AFK. Okay, now I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done.